My name is Kenny. My b-boy name is Ken Swift. I'm from New York City, and I represent the Seven Gems, uh, you know, hip hop movement coming out of uh, you know New York. All right. So my the 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 way that I started breaking was uh, introduced through the element of graffiti. My uh, my one of my brothers started writing graffiti in 1977. And around 78, I started finding the markers and finding what he was doing. And I started doing it too also in the black books. And then I started tagging in the street. And then I started riding on the subway trains. And then that same year, because of my friend Doze, who lived in the same building as me, you know, he, his, one of his cousins was bringing in these tapes from the Bronx of music, the cassette tapes. And he would play these tapes in a little box. And that's when I first heard DJing and I heard it uh, dudes rhyming on top of the beats from the Bronx. And within that, you know, we started trying to imitate that and Doe's got a turntable, he got a Techniques D1 belt, uh, direct drive turntable. And he used his father's other turntable and he bought a Gemini mixer up and down and we started DJing. Okay. And, for, and we started rhyming try to imitate the same style on the type tapes to be like, to doing, to an MC. And one day he just did a move. Like I, I had seen people dance, you know, all my life, you know, but not the style of breaking. I seen people dancing on television, you know, James Brown, all that stuff. You know, as a kid, you're watching TV, but I never saw myself as a dancer. I was like, I, I was too shy to dance at that, at those years, but I love to watch it. It was fine. You know, I understood it. My mother always watched Soul Train on the weekends, cleaning the house, she would watch the shows and I would watch the shows, you know, it was normal. But one day, uh, two of my friends, one of my friends, we were walking down the street and he, we walked in front of a record shop and they had a speaker outside and there was music playing and he, he was walking with me and he just started doing this groove and then he did a spin on the top and he went into a split and he got up and he just started bugging out and I was like, I, I, I was, it kind of made me feel uncomfortable because it was daytime and there was people walking everywhere. I was like, what, the, what is wrong with this guy? But the, good thing, the interesting thing is that he didn't care what people thought. He just felt the music and he did something. And in the beginning, I was a little uncomfortable, but then I was like, that's kind of cool that he didn't care. You know, he just felt what he felt. Uh, soon after that, I saw, you know, Doze did a move in, in, in the apartment one day we were practicing DJing and he did this shuffle move and I did the shuffle move and he was like, well, cause he had seen some dudes doing it and he was like, you know, that's, that's the whole time when, when I did the move, he said, well, you got to top rock first. And then that's when I was like, yo, this is kind of cool. And the reason I did it is because it was kind of athletic. It was like, when you're, when you're 12 years old or when you're a kid, if somebody does something crazy, you want to try it too. You want to be like, I could do that. It's just a kid thing. So that's what attracted me was the floor and the body, the way to, to do something crazy with your body. And from then is when the, the first times. And then after that soon, you know, they, we, we started going to little parties and we would bust out a move or two. You know, I learned my sweep and I started learning what the breaking was. It's like then from seeing it, going to a park and seeing people do it, it's like, oh snap. The first times I saw it, I didn't do it, but I saw it and I was paying attention. And when I would leave, I'd go home and I'd practice trying to do what I, trying to remember what I saw. So around 78, 79 was a time, winter of 78 going into 79 was the, time that I started really wanting to, you know, because I was doing DJ, I was MC, I was, I was writing, with, doing writing, but I think the breaking was the thing that I desired more to do because it was athletic and I had a lot of energy. So that was when I started breaking serious. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, the word original is an interesting word. You know, and it's, uh, I've learned over uh, experience to be careful with the word original. I would say that the trademark moves that I, I would say trademark is more interesting to me because I remember my creative, creative moments. I remember when I wanted to do something my way. And this creates the idea of a original move. But movement has been happening for centuries, so who knows what is original. I would say one of the first moves that I made up was called Kaboom. And uh, you can see this move in the, mo in the movie Beach Street. It's when I do uh, this uh, swipe 
and I land on the floor with the This move was, you know, inspired by the macho image of breaking where people grab the private parts. A lot of times, with the first times I saw somebody go and come up from the floor grabbing the thing and then they do the chair freeze like this, I was like, yo, I was, when I first seen it as a kid, I was like, why are they grabbing the, the part like that? Because I was young. I wasn't a gangster. I was a regular kid. So when I saw this, you know, I was like, well, that's what you're supposed to do. I, didn't, I was uncomfortable at first. I was like, yo. But then I was like, yo, I want to try that shit. So I would try it and try to do like, the, you know, because it was hardcore. To do that meant, it was like, that wasn't, it wasn't normal to grab your, your, your dick in a freeze. You know, if my mother would have seen me do that shit, she would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Slap me. So, you know, that side of it, it was like, this is what I wanted to do, but you know, exaggerate that bigger than life with a big move. So the move is a surprise. You think I'm gonna start doing footwork and then I go in the air and I come down, boom. So it's a surprise move. And that whole hitting the floor hard, you know, that's, it's hardcore. So that was an example of one of the first moves and I called it kaboom, cause that's the way it felt, like kaboom. You know, K-A-B-O-O-M, kaboom, like an explosion. Another example of a move at that time, it's called the broken leg. I used to do footwork and then I used to be going so fast and then I go slow and I just let my leg, uh, my, put my knee on the floor and let my leg go back and forth and look at the crowd to make it look like my leg was broken. And then I would do a sweep up through the other sweep and then come down and choke myself. And that was, this is my being a kid, being creative. And this is the first year that I, and this is the first times that I was dancing in a crowd. One of the other moves, I don't have a name for it, but I remember doing this freeze where I would do some footwork and go on the floor and then come up and just, you know, go, I would land in a freeze in a specific way, but I would grab my thigh like this and just do it like, and I was a little kid, but I would do like that, bah, like, because that's how they would, back in the days, you know, like that macho shit about, you know, the dick and, you know, giving, you know, like, be a macho because you got, you know, that shit was popular. So that was my interpretation of acting like, yo, looking like, you know, so I was, and I would do that in a crowd. And I remember doing that one time and my brother's older friends, they were in the, it was in St. Gregory's. It was in a church, uh, basement of a church where they would throw community parties. And I remember I was beginner and there were other b-boys there from the short shop boys which is a crew, and it was uh, Kid Terrific was there, and my, my older brother Speedy, and some other guys, and I did that move, and that was one of the first times that they was like, everybody's like, gave me love. They were like, oh shit, ah, you know, they were like giving me love, and it was an instant confidence booster. Like, I just felt like, yo, it just made me feel so good when everybody gave me love. I was, you know, 12 years old, 13 years old, and those moments like that of being creative helped develop my character and uh, the person that I wanted to be. When I saw people break some of the first b-boys, I saw some of the best b-boys around my neighborhood. Uh, I'm gonna say names, Bron Darris, I'm gonna say the Light Brothers, Ice Ice, Charlie Rock, uh, Frosty Freeze, Grego from the Executioner's Crew, Wayne Blizz. I mean, I, I went to, I started going to different park jams and seeing dope, dope dudes and when I would leave, I was like, I gotta look like them dudes, but I couldn't, because you can only be yourself. And this helped me start developing the creativity to be myself by making up my own moves. So that's a basic outline of some of the first moves that considered I considered something that I actually did bring over the course of history, 1981 or 1982, with practicing, I used to practice a lot by myself. And there was one day that I made up this move where I would do this switching motion and then go up on my left hand and go up on one hand high in the air and open my legs wide and just turn and then tuck my hand under, put my, my, this part of my hand on the floor first and then come down to my elbow, come down to my shoulder and then do a one spin long, slow and then go into a fast head glide and then, and then freeze like that. This move uh, involved different elements of movement. It involved a switch, a fast footwork switch, and then slow motion. So I took speed and compact speed 
And then I slowed it down, but I also opened my body really wide to give a visual so it opened up. And then it was this slow motion thing. And the last thing was a fast head glide into the freeze. So I thought it was futuristic. I was like, this is some, this combination is dope. This is like a using, a, I was thinking like a scientist. I was like, I want to do this. And I thought it was from the future. So I said, I'm going to call it a 1990 because it was only 1982. So the future was 1990. So that's why I called it a 1990. No one ever used that concept. That was my thinking. Now, the proof of this for research and anybody that wants to find out, there's a show called Two on the Town, Channel Two on the Town, that was shot in 1982 in Rocksteady Park. And one of the guys from my crew is telling one of the reporters from the show, this is Ken Swift doing his new move called the 1990. So like, my, you know, this is, this is common knowledge that people know that I created it. Over the course of time, the hand spin became notified and started being identified as a 1990. The hand spin, which means a single, a, a, you have to go around one full time on your hand, no matter, upside down. And the, everybody, you know, in the streets, it started to be called, they started calling the hand spin in 1990. Now, I didn't create a hand spin. I have nothing to do with creating a hand spin. Uh, and there are people in New York that claim that they created that. There's like three of them that claim that they created. Now, what they're arguing about and debating about is a hand spin. If any one of those people or anybody in any city or state claims that they created the 1990, they're full of shit and they're lying. And they need to be correct and accurate about what they're claiming, a hand spin. 1990 is a combination made up by Ken Swift in 1982. And that's that. So that's another example of an original move. You know, and that, that kind of brings it from when I was beginner to when it became. Oh, after that, it's like flowing downstream, uh, air babies. I mean, I, I put a lot of things into the vocabulary, boy going switches, which a lot of people do. And I contributed, you know. Uh, but I mean, you know, I don't, I, that was just what every, every b-boy should do. Like, I can say I contributed that and 100 other b-boys from New York can say they contributed moves also. So, 